So welcome back everybody to Web Gaming Central. I wanted to bring to your attention this game, Democracy 3. A very good game, pretty much places you in the pants, well no, that's, jeez. Places you in the shoes of the president or any country that you're interested in. I, just so you know, well first of all I live in the United States so I would probably play as a president here. Um, but, this is a very good simulation of um, the presidency and I think, uh, if you're interested in these type of things, you should definitely, um, definitely uh, give it a shot. Um, but I'm also, I also wanted to ask if you wanted to see a Let's Play of this. Um, let me know in the comments, and um, if so, we'll do it. If not, you know, we'll just, uh, might forego that. I've been playing this anyway, um, on my own. But if you're interested, let me know. <clears throat> Let's see. Um... Right, a lot of information. So you can play as United Kingdom, France, Germany, of course US, Canada, and Australia. Now, of course, as I said, I would play as the United States, and then you can set your term, which party you're a part of. Um, I'm actually independent. Uh, well, actually, not really. I'm just not, you know... I don't know. It's funny, because I've always never understood why people never shared... Well, I, I understand it. But not really ever shared their party. And I know probably they feel like they'll be, you know, slapped around or something. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway. <laughs> I don't share publicly, I guess. But in the end, whichever party you want to play as, um, you know, you kind of go that. I'm not a liberal. Um, let's see. Let's just pick a different one. Independence party. You know, just randomly. Anyway, I'll pick a four-year term limit. Um, what else do we have? You can choose some other things. I'm not entirely sure. Well, from this, I can gather that, you know, you just wouldn't have these things happen, these type of uh, events happen that you'd have to, you know, respond to. Um, we're not a monarchy. Compulsory voting. I'm not entirely sure what that is, uh, but I'm sure I don't want it. Um, other than that, we just kind of go. My opposing party is not those guys. I'm just going to pick one randomly but as you can see the democrats and republicans are there conservatives your more commonly known one and liberal party is another commonly known one um the rest of these i don't know if everybody would be aware unless you're really into politics you probably would not be aware um of all these other ones so yeah there you go but anyway just wanted to show you that and we'll get into it just to give you this is just a test I'm not gonna save this playthrough we'll probably pick some different things and again you can kinda let me know your thoughts on that if you wanna see other things too now there's normally a tutorial that comes here um, but I already went through it so I didn't kinda know a few things but anyway um, okay so we've been elected and we can begin our turn but these are the issues that um, are big big issues GDP health education poverty crime and unemployment things we have to look at and um, be aware of so if we click on any of these you can see um, the causes and effects of unemployment okay military spending GDP private schools um, unemployment benefit uh, effects the unemployment benefit uh, which is uh, the cost uh, let's see racial tension um, productivity wages all that factors into or all that's the effect of the causes over here pretty much hope I made said that properly um, either way we have to manage all this stuff so let's get to the main screen let's go ahead and begin our term health obviously is the worst uh, it'd be good to kind of know exactly what's affecting health so pollution obviously that causes people to be sick and have to go to the hospital clearly alcohol abuse of course drug addiction yeah work week okay sure um, over here <laughs> of course the effects of bad health is the pr productivity goes down because you have more people out of work because they're sick of course retired people um, maybe you get more retirees sooner I don't know that I'm not entirely sure but state pensions there's no effect there immigration no effect there so let's go ahead and begin our term and now you see this and you're like oh my god what is this I just stop turn off the game you know because it looks completely confusing but don't worry the tutorial in this game is pretty good at explaining everything here so all the white bubbles um, are things that we can 
our policies pretty much and we can adjust these we can make decisions on these um, and just to give you an example see and then it'll show you the effects so I move this slider where I want it if I want to you know um, lower the um, police force pretty much but then it has negative effects so if we raise it for example higher police force our conservatives would be more happy uh, state employees would be more happy um, then we look at uh, in the income of state employees would though go down unemployment would go down a little bit I guess I'm not entirely sure why but um, antisocial behavior alcohol abuse drug addiction that would all be affected nev negatively by those decisions violent crimes now this is interesting Since you have the policy which represents how strongly you want the police implement it. Right, so it's in that's interesting. Violent crime would go up. No, this is interesting. Is this right? Every government needs to employ a police force and short orders kept in laws our way, but it's a matter of debate. Okay, how much should be spent on the police? Oh, okay, so this is police spending. Uh-huh. But my, here's my question. If I'm spending more on police, why would crime go... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I misinterpreted um, that. So right violent crime would go down that's what this means crime would go down violent crime would go down um the income of the employees state employees would go down um, obviously because you're giving more income to um the uh well but first of all because there's more people to employ so apparently uh, i guess the the cost for those people would go down as well or their earnings would be less because there's so many available positions that's my guess you know that's just my guess I can be wrong on that anyway antisocial behavior that would go down um, but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna revert those changes and go back out that's just one example let me go to a different one this is gun laws gun control laws which is a very hot topic um very hot topic no limit no automatics license required license minimum age strict controls total ban ah see I like this I never looked at this yet but as you can see, we make those change. If we were to make those changes, we could see the effects here. So liberals, the liberal approval—that's what I believe this is for—would go down. Uh, parents, what about parents? Ah, parents would be happy about this. I take it. Liberalism would go down, right? Because liberals believe in, I think the. Um, uh, ha having that freedom to you know to have whatever they want to have as far as especially when it comes to gun laws that means being able to you know own any guns whatsoever that they would like um, currently it would have a very minimal effect on liberalism uh, but the liberals approval of me would go down a little bit as you can see right there so just example here guys we're gonna revert those changes um, but as you can see there's some hot button topics the red things are circumstances or events and these are things we cannot directly control we, c we can indirectly control them so asthma ep epidemic which is a health issue the cause is the environment of course car usage uh, product and it affects productivity and parents of course because the parents are the ones that have to deal with it if they're not affected themselves um, again, we can't con directly control that. We can indirectly control it. Um, and this just goes to the parent. And we can go to a focus group and actually look at their approval of us, each individual, of this particular focus group. And that's going to change because everybody is, a f is part of different groups. So, you know, it's no broad, widespread sweeping generalized groups I guess you would say that uh, which is great because that's realistic very realistic um, let's see here just kind of go through some things here um, let's pick a random one what is this antisocial behavior now nah, let's not do that one what is this nope let's go to wages no nah, let's not do that one either as you can see I'm totally undecided here let's see military spending there we go all right so 
military, yeah, see, overwhelming force currently, that's where it is. If we cut down, then unemployment, you know, goes down. Or up, actually, sorry. It goes up. Um, patriotism goes down. State employees obviously go down. State employee memberships go down. The income for those go down. Liberalism goes up. Right. That makes sense. Okay. So, I mean, as you can see, I'm still learning myself as we go. But environment, that's another since I was red. No, that's not red. This is environment. This is blue. What does this mean? It's another thing I cannot con directly control. So, let's just go over that really fast and I'll end the video. The red things are e events that you cannot control. You can control them indirectly, though, with policies. Blue are, I forget what they call them. Uh, um, I think more like... Uh, uh, situate or you know issues crime is an issue uh, what is this traffic congestion is an issue um, oil price is an issue things we cannot change directly oil demand is an issue right isn't it it's it's like um, the way things are but we can change it with the white bubbles so we can change it by these policies the white bubbles are the policies that we can change that affect these now here's another cool thing for example if you think well how am I supposed to know what policies affect each circumstance well let's just hover over let's hover over which one did we see this bus used to just hover over that one then you get this cool little thing that goes on now these are that's the policy the one policy that affects all these things is subsidized school buses so if changing this affects bus usage isn't that sweet so you have to you know pretty much make policy decisions that affect no, we don't. No, no, no. Yes, we've heard those changes. You have to make policy decisions that affect these things. But now, mind you, it's gonna whatever you do with that uh, policy is gonna change more things. Let's go here and see. Now you see this is something that directly it's all intertwined, pretty much. So as you can see, subsidized school buses affects that particular. Um, situation which is bus usage but our policies subsidized school buses affects that as well as the the approval of parents in our country and that's what the middle thing is guys these are all the different groups um voting groups that we have and thing is we have to try to please as many of them as we can of course that's pretty much impossible my current popularity is in the dumps uh, but as you can see for each particular group you see exactly what policies affect them what circumstances our current situations affect them as well so as you can see guys it's a big very complicated game and I love big and complicated games so well, I hate to say big game because it's not necessarily a big game but as far as the strategy required in this game it's huge I love this stuff it makes me think it makes me put myself in the shoes of the president and try to make some decisions that can you know improve the quality of life of our great United States. Anyway guys, I'm going to end the video here. Just wanted to see what you think. Uh, give you a quick view of the game. Let you see uh, some things. Also, by the way, you can uh, you have a cabinet. You can hire and fire. Uh, you can show potential guys. First of all, experience is the thing that you're looking for. But of course, loyalty as well. Okay. Uh, which those things affect things too. But these are all my cabinet members. A Minister of Industry, Tax, Public Service, Law and Order, Transport. Uh, foreign policy and again you can look at what they have here. It doesn't have much experience and that much effectiveness If I wanted to replace him I could and the thing is I think Walter Long here. He might be a better um, Option he's a liberal. I Think he's a liberal right? Yeah, it looks like he's a liberal or at least he's sympathetic to the liberals um, and Parents and I don't mind that but anyway, guys, I, you know, either way, I'm going to play this no matter what. But if you want to see me play it, let me know, and we can go through this and try to try to be a good president here. And you guys can help me make some policy choices, right? Right. Anyway, let me know. I'll uh, look for your comments in the comment section, and we'll move from there. There's more to show you, too, by the way. That's not it, because we have to understand this here political capital, which uh, is the resource for the decision-making. So once I run out of that, I can't make any more decisions for this turn but then there's a, you hit the next for the next turn after you make some policy changes and each policy takes a certain amount of turns to go into effect so it's very realistic guys anyway let me know your thoughts and uh, we'll um, 
we'll go through this game if you want. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If there is one. <laughs> Later, everybody.